everybody, it's Lissa, and welcome back to my reading channel. So today we are going to be starting a new reading vlog. I am planning on reading today, so let's see if we can actually do it, because I always tell myself I'm gonna read and then, I, and then I never end up actually doing as much as I would like. But we're gonna start this reading vlog off with a thrift book haul. Um, there's this website called thriftbooks.com and it's just all like ex-library books, used books and stuff like that for like $5 and under. Um, if it's a more popular book or signed, it's obviously a little bit more, but all of the books I bought, I think the most like expensive one I bought was $6. So I figured I would just haul this and show you guys what I got. And I'll have a link for the website down below if you're interested. So I believe I got like six books and they're all like older paranormal romance books that I read when I was younger and I wanna read them again. All right, so here is the first book. So I remember vividly reading this when I was younger on my Nook. This is Intertwined by Gina Showalter. Here's the cover. This is used by the way, guys, and it's almost in perfect condition. And I don't know, yeah, there's not an invoice in here, but I'm pretty sure I spent like $3 on this book and it was normally 16. So that's really great. So this is, like I said, paranormal romance. So this is about a guy named Aiden Stone who has four living souls living inside of him. And he's the new guy at this high school. So he has four souls. One can time travel, one can raise the dead, one can tell the future, and one can possess another human. So his souls are his friends. And apparently in high school, he meets a girl who quiets all of the souls and the voices, which is basically a normal paranormal romance story. But I remember really loving it when I was younger and hopefully it's not as cringy as most of the young adult books are that I go back and read when I was a kid but I feel like I'm definitely going to enjoy it. I got all of these books in hardcover because I've stopped buying books that aren't hardcover anymore because I just I want to have hardcovers on my shelves. I just like the quality of them a little bit better so that was like three or four dollars and it was hardcover. Next we have two books in this packaging. Okay so this first book here actually does not have a dust cover and it was the only one I could find hardcover because the Hush Hush series is actually kind of hard to find in hardcover. I've noticed when I go to like a bookstore or thrift store. So this is Hush Hush by Becca Fitzpatrick. As many of you guys know, this is my favorite book and book series of all time. Um, it's something that I've loved since I was a kid. It was one of the first paranormal romance books I read that I absolutely fell in love with and it made me love reading. So I wanted to buy this in hardcover. Unfortunately, we could not find the dust jacket but I kind of have an idea. I think I might paint this book. I feel I've never painted the front of a book before, but I feel like it would be really cool. And then I wanna do a reread where I tab the whole series again, because I really miss it. And this was like without a dust jacket and this was the most expensive book. I think I spent $6 on this one. So something about the Hush Hush series is very popular. All of the editions on thriftbooks.com were like in different languages. And I think it would be really cool to get the Hush Hush series in different languages as well, since I love the book series so much. But for right now, I wanted to at least get the hardcover and I think I'm gonna clean this up and paint it. Let me know if you guys would like to see that for a video. I'm not sure what I want to do yet, but definitely something with like angel wings or something like that, but it'd be really cool. So next here we have A Beautiful Dark by Jocelyn Davis. I read this when I was younger as well. Look how pretty the front of the book is. Like I said, I got a hardcover. That's what it looks like underneath. And I believe this is the first book. I did get the whole series in this haul. So I think this is the first one. So it says, on the night of Skye's 17th birthday, she meets two strangers. One is dark and wild while one is fair and aloof. So there's probably gonna be a love triangle like always. She has no idea what they want or why they follow her, only that their presence coincides with a flurry of strange events. She has an impossible secret that threatens to shatter her world. And she has to deal with these two strangers that she met as well. So she probably has like some secret power or something. I don't remember these stories really. I just remember reading them. So yeah, I bought the whole series because I remember really liking this one. And this book was like $3. I think each book in the series was like $3. So then we have two books in here. So then we have the last book to that series. This is an ex-library book, as you guys can see, since it still has the library name on it. This was from Lake Oswego Public Library in Oregon. So if anybody knows where that is or you live there, it's where I got books, which is really cool. I really love ex-library books because they have so much character in them, um, but they are also usually really dirty, but you can take this dirty plastic covering off of it and you'll have basically a brand new book. And that's what I really like about this. But yeah, this is the last book in this series. And then we have Embrace by Jessica Shervington. I remember reading this when I was younger. I love the cover with the wings. Ooh, here's the inside. That looks really pretty. The front has little 
wings on them. That's really cool. So this is like, most of these stories are fallen angel and angel stories, which are my all time favorite types of stories, if you guys didn't know. So this is about a 17 year old girl named Violet who has a very bad 17th birthday because she starts having this dark tattoo that starts winding up her arms and she doesn't have any idea why. And she also finds out that she's actually half human. So I believe that there's characters that get introduced and she basically, it just gets told who she is. She probably saves the world. I don't know. I don't remember but I'm sure I'm going to love it. As you can see, it's very dirty. So this is definitely a very used book. It smells like a library, but I love it. Just gonna clean it up with some wipes and it'll be brand new. And here is the last book we have. And I think this is the second book in that series. Yep, so here is the second book to the Beautiful Dark series. This is A Fractured Light. And I just absolutely love the cover. I think it is so pretty. So I'm not gonna read what it's about, obviously, but this came from the San Diego County Library in San Diego, California. They got rid of the book because of tape damage, apparently. But it also says tape damage in 2013. This book has been at that library since 2013, which is actually really cool. And look like the little tag protector, if like somebody stole the book is like in the book. But yeah, if you guys are interested in getting really cheap thrifted books, thriftbooks.com is one of my favorite places to go, especially if you like old YA, young adult romance, paranormal romance, you will literally get the hook up there. I spent $30 on six books, which is really great. And I am obsessed and I'm probably going to read all of these very soon because this is like, this was my life when I was like 11 or 12 guys. Like these books were my life and I'm excited to start reading them again. The book that I'm actually going to start reading in this reading vlog is The Damned by Renee Audier. This is the second book to the Beautiful series. This is the sequel, the last book. And I am super excited. I think it's the last book, maybe I'm wrong, but I thought it was because it came out recently. So I'm not 100% sure about that. But this is the second book. I read the first one for my Patreon buddy read, gave it five stars. It was one of my favorite books that I've read in a while. So I really want to start with this one and the book is not super big, so I'm excited. I love the purple and the cover of this book. This color purple is like one of my all time favorite colors. So yeah, we're gonna start reading it. I don't have anything to do today. As you can see by like how sweaty and gross I look, I just spent about an hour outside skating and for the rest of the day, I don't really have much to do. It's about 4.30 in the afternoon. So me and my boyfriend are kind of just gonna relax for the rest of the night, chill out and do some reading. Alright, it is the next morning and I read a little bit of The Damned yesterday. I got to page 63 as you can see and I already have tons of pink tabs because I there's been some really great quotes so far that I really like and things that have happened and I'm really enjoying it so far. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do much reading today because I do have to clean and edit some videos and do schoolwork. So I don't know if I'll have much time to read, but I'm trying to set a goal for myself where I try to read at least for 30 minutes every single day. And I'm gonna see if I can accomplish it because I do feel a lot better when I do read in my day. And I'm trying to work on a little bit more self-care for myself. And reading is definitely part of my self-care. So I'm gonna try to read for at least 30 minutes every day. I wanted to show you guys these books that I got because I posted them on my Instagram story when I got them a couple weeks ago. And a lot of you guys asked me where I got them and like what they're about and stuff like that um, because I've been working on manifesting stuff for myself, like manifesting goals and self-love. And I'm not really someone that likes to go to therapists and stuff like that, so I figured I would just get like therapy books. And there are tons on Amazon that you can find. But the first one I got is the self-love workbook for women. And here's what it looks like. If I can remember, I'll put the link for it down below. And it's basically just a workbook. It gives you scenarios and stuff that you work through with yourself to teach yourself some more self-love, which I really like. And I also got this 52 week guided journal to achieve your goals because as many of you guys know, I'm trying to get a house next year. Don't know if that'll still happen. Um, I'm trying my best to, you know, save up the money for it, but hopefully we can. And basically each week you fill out this journal and ask you questions that you fill out and stuff. This one has been my favorite one so far. And I try to do these every single, well, at least this one every single day. And then this one every week. And that's been helping me a lot with my mental health. And I've also completely cut myself off from social media as well and 
it's only been like three days since not being on social media and I already feel so much better. So if you guys are kind of in like a rough state and you kind of rely on social media to like really help you get through it. I really recommend staying off of social media and kind of finding other things that you love to do like reading, journaling, gaming and stuff like that and it may help you feel a little bit better. Yeah, I just made my coffee for the morning with my Nightmare Before Christmas mug. I used like just regular Dunkin Donuts coffee and I used this Snickers creamer. So freaking good. Like this coffee is amazing. But yeah, I will um, update you guys again when I start reading. Um, my plans for for this week or just to keep reading the damned and I think this weekend I'm going to like this cool market in Atlanta with my boyfriend we'll see if they have any bookstores there So I just did some reorganizing of my books. I wasn't planning on doing this, but with the cleaning, I just felt like doing it. So I'm unhauling quite a bit, a few books, um, ones that I have read already and I didn't like, and then also ones that I'm probably just never going to read because I've had them for so long and I have no interest in them, in them anymore. So we've got these books. These were both ARCs, I think. Or no, this one was an ARC I received. And this one, I just don't, I don't really care about like the sick kid dying stories anymore like and it's not that it doesn't matter because obviously it happens all the time it's just i feel like it's been so overdone since five feet apart that people keep writing stories of like romances and like the kids dying and stuff and i just don't feel like reading those stories anymore we have i wish you all the best by mason deaver i've had this on my shelf for a while and i just don't pick it up the cover is really pretty though and then we've got some more random ones here ones that I've read. I've read Remember Me and Devil in Ohio. I didn't really like them. And then we got Miss Peregrine's Home of Peculiar Children. Don't really care about that series. And The Afterlife of Holly Chase. I've had it for like three years now. Probably not going to read it. Then we've got my last Patreon book. I'm going to donate that. The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. Going to donate that. Little Mermaid and another Peculiar Children book. So, so 12 books I'm unhauling because they're just kind of a waste of space and I don't really have that much space in my current apartment. So if I had a house, maybe it would be a different story, but trying to save my space here. <laughs> hey guys, it's a couple days later. It is April 7th and I haven't made any more progress in reading The Damned. I'm still on the same page that I was before. Unfortunately, I haven't read every single day. Like I said, I was going to, but I haven't really had too much time really. But today I actually went and got my COVID vaccine this morning, my first dose. I got it in this arm it is a little bit sore but other than that it didn't hurt or anything um i've just been like really really tired and i kind of have a little bit of a headache but i don't know if that's from the vaccine or just from the stress of going to get the vaccine because i had anxiety just about going because i get anxiety about everything but <laughs> yeah it went really well um i have my second dose in three weeks so doing good and that was fun and i was gonna show you guys these boxes that i've had sitting over to the side because i accidentally got two months worth worths of these subscription boxes on accident. So I have two of them. So this is the Once Upon a Young Adult Book Club. And I saw this on TikTok. I had so many of you guys tag me on this box on TikTok. So I knew I had to get it. It was kind of an expensive box. So that's why when I was charged for it twice, I was like, oh no, because I forgot to like cancel my subscription, but it's okay. We have two of them now. <sighs> this book box is really freaking cool. So basically this box is they give you a book and in the book, there are certain pages that they tell you to open certain gifts and I'll show you what it looks like. So this one was the month of honestly no idea maybe March. It was February or March. I'm not too sure. Here is what the inside looks like. I have already opened it but like you can't see what's inside yet and I'll show you why. We've got this little card that has a quote from the book that's in here and we have a little bit about the book in here and a bookmark and here is what the inside looks like as you can see you have the book itself and honestly this book doesn't sound super interesting to me but I did choose young adult because the topics sounded better than the adult books to me let me know in the future if you guys would like to see the adult one this is Maisie by Melanie Crowder and it's just about a girl trying to get into Broadway basically um I like Broadway I'm just not interested in reading a book about it but like this book is so tiny it probably would take like two hours for me to read but then inside here 
We have little pouches and in these pouches, it tells you when to open them up. There is four and there's a really, really big one. So when you get to that page in the book, it tells you to go ahead and reach into your box and open your gift up. So whatever you're reading about is probably going to be in the box, which I think is just super cool. So if you guys would like to see maybe just an exclusive reading vlog for these two boxes, then definitely let me know because I could do a vlog just of me reading these boxes. Let me go show you guys the other one real fast. This one I'm way more excited about. This is the one that I got recently. I literally got it a couple days ago in the mail and that's when I realized I needed to cancel it and stop getting charged for it. <laughs> so this book is more of like my taste, I would say. So here is the little quote card we have, which is really cute. And one thing I think is really cool about this is that this is an actual Wattpad book. And as many of you guys know, I basically grew up reading Wattpad books. So I'm very excited that this is a Wattpad book that was turned into a published book. This is the Train to an Alternate Dimension theme. So I don't know what month that was. So here is what the inside of this box looks like. We've got the nice like black and white theme, which I really love. Here is the book. It is Downworld by Rebecca Phelps. I really like the cover. It reminds me of like The Walking Dead for sure. But as you can see, it used to be a Wattpad book. So it's about a kid in high school and there's like the area of their high school is around an old military base. And apparently like the doors through the military base have like different timelines and realities in the military base. And there's different doors that lead to different like realities and all of that stuff, which I think sounds really cool. And of course they're gonna be in high school. So they have to deal with the issues of being in high school as well. This book sounds really good. The words on the pages are really small though. Though, so I'm gonna have to wear my glasses to read those. Comes with a signed book plate, which is really cool, and a bookmark. As you can see, we have cute little goodies. This one says open page 350, 83, 338, and 56. We've got the bigger one here. So we've got four goodies to open while reading that book. So I am just so excited for this. I just feel like that's a whole different type of experience while reading that you get if you open something after reading something in a book. Like I just feel like that experience is just going to be like insanely awesome. So let me know if you guys want me to do a whole reading vlog just on these two boxes alone and we can see what cool little gifts we get while reading the book. And in the future I may do more of these if you guys like it. But I just wanted to show you guys that because if you're interested I did order the, this box in like November and I didn't get one until March because they were back, back ordered for so long. So I did pay for a box, but not get it for a couple months. So that could happen just to let you guys know. But I think they're getting, you know, back in order and everything like that considering I did get another one, so. Carcinated as slime. They don't have the volumes I need. Do they ever? No. And I wanted this too, but they don't have one. Hey guys, so me and my boyfriend are out today. We did um, some a couple different things. I was wearing a wig, but I took it off because I was getting way too hot. So that's why my eyebrows are a different color than my hair. But today we went to go eat lunch with his mom and then we went to Pont City Market in Atlanta and then we went and got some bubble tea. I feel like a really basic city girl today, um, but we went to Honey Bubble and we just got like coffee, boba tea. And then we went to Orange no! And then we went to Barnes & Noble. I didn't really film too much in there because I filmed the manga section, but I was going to film the young adult section, but a worker was putting books in that section and it was really awkward, so. I did get three books though, um, because half the books I got were 
on sale today so that was pretty cool i normally get hard covers but this one looked really cool like as a paperback so i got graceling by christian casmore and i'm really hoping this is the first book i'm pretty sure it is because i have seen it before but i mainly got it because the cover is so pretty and then i got yolk by mary hk Choi. i've read Mary H.K. Choi's books before and I really like her writing. I wasn't a fan of Permanent Record when I read it but I've heard that this one is really good. It's about a girl and her sister with cancer and I really like how the hands meet up in the middle right there and it was 20% off and it was the Barnes & Noble YA book club book so that's really nice. Lastly I got Chain of Iron by Cassandra Clare. This is book two in the uh, Last Hours uh, book series. I have not read this series yet and I was gonna pre-order it but I never did but look how stunning it is and I'm super excited for it. So this was actually 30% off as well. That's my little book haul. Now we're just gonna go to my boyfriend's apartment for a little bit and then head home. Um, I haven't done too much reading recently. I did read about 30 more pages of The Damned and I'm still really enjoying it. So I'll keep you guys updated. some people to some manga. Hey look. The Titan's Curse. Oh, nice. I already I don't have the hardcover though. It's free. I have books in my car that I can put back in here. Yeah. Oh look. There's two of the same dark prophecy books. That's a cool series. Book two. This little bit right here. Hey guys, I just got back from our day of activities. And as you guys saw, uh, one of those like free little library things was actually right beside my boyfriend's apartments and he never even knew that they were there. And we looked inside of it to see if there was anything interesting and there was. And I also, I have books that I don't want in my car um, because I'm gonna donate them eventually, but I figured I would just use my bag of books to go around to these little libraries and kind of put my old books in there. I feel like that would be really cool. So if you guys would like to see a vlog of where we go to like a bunch of little libraries and see what's inside of them, then definitely let me know. I think we're gonna do it next weekend. I got a hardcover of The Titan's Curse, which is part of the Percy Jackson series. I already have this book, but I have it in paperback. So I'm going to donate the paperback, get the hardcover, but surprisingly, it was actually signed by Rick Riordan. So I have a signed Rick Riordan book. Um, it was for Sophia. And I guess Sophia decided she didn't want her signed book anymore. I now have it and I'm super happy about it. It was free. I put one of the books that I didn't want anymore inside of the little library so somebody else can enjoy that book. But now I have this one to enjoy. So we got a pretty good book haul today. I guess the theme of this book haul is like yellow and blue because we got a lot of yellow and blue here. But yeah, this is my little haul from today. So here's how far I am into The Damned. I'm on page 103. So I am going to work on reading more of this and get through that. But right now I feel like playing video games. Um, if you guys like video games, I know this is my video game channel, but I just downloaded a game called Cozy Grove and I really, really like it. It's very similar to Animal Crossing and to Don't Starve. It's kind of like mixed together. You have to play every single day to get new like quests and stuff like that. So you have new stuff to do every day and it's just like really beautiful and the music is amazing. I literally almost fell asleep while playing it yesterday because the music was so relaxing. So yeah, I'm gonna play that for a little bit and then update you guys if I do any reading, but who knows. We found another little library near us and we don't have any books to replace it, but that, I know that one's a good book, but we can't grab it because we don't have the book to replace it, so. Yeah, there's little kids' books down here, too. With the best one being Choose Your Own Adventure, just saying. 
Hey guys, it's been a couple days since last updating you guys on this reading vlog and I haven't done too much reading. I've been pretty busy these past couple days. Um, my Etsy shop is opening next week so I'm working on restocking my Etsy shop and making new things so I haven't really had time to do much reading as I would like but that's okay. I'm trying not to force myself to read if I don't want to because that's what puts myself into a reading slump so I've been just watching booktube videos when I feel like reading and can't and stuff like that. So yeah, um, still reading The Damned. Like I said, I only got to page 103 in this reading vlog, but I need to start another book soon. This is my Patreon buddy read for this month. This is Sadie by Courtney Summers. Heard really good things about this. I heard the audiobook is even better. So we'll see if I get the audiobook or not. It may be better for me to get the audiobook because then I can do my Etsy shop stuff while listening to it. I think I may do that because this is basically written kind of like a podcast and it's like a mystery and I'm pretty excited for it. It has really good reviews. I got it off of book outlet like a year ago for like three dollars so if you guys would like to join this buddy read i have my patreon down below where we all talk about it in our discord and everything the cover has a little knife on it probably can't see it but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and end this reading vlog here because in a couple days me my dad and my boyfriend are all gonna go exploring for little libraries kind of like how we did in this video there is a website where you can find where all the little libraries are near you so we're gonna do that for the day and just go exploring all the different little libraries so i can get rid of a lot of my old books that I have. I have a bag full of like 20 books over there that I was going to donate but I figured I would just put them in the little library thing so I can kind of spread them out throughout the city and the other cities around me. I feel like that'd be pretty cool. So stay tuned for the next reading vlog where I go explore those little libraries if you really liked this one. Make sure to check out all of my social medias down below and all of my channels down below as well. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!